Afternoon, um, we're just moving to a new house at the minute and this is going to be my little office, my YouTube space. Um, but I just want to talk about some of the stuff to be aware of that happens sometimes. I thought it was just this place, but talking to other people, it's quite common for people to leave a lot of defects behind and expect you just to sort it out. A lot of the lights were missing here. Um, not just the bulbs, the actual fittings. They were just wires with, uh, you know, just the um, the little rows. You know, the there was no bulb in it, just hanging from the ceiling. Um, so, all in all, I'm going to probably end up spending about 500 euros doing repairs on something in the UK would have already been done as part of the rental. You know, at the end of the day, you'd expect it already to be in good condition. But like I say, I'm not really knocking it. It's Location-wise, it's convenient. We're right next to the supermarket. Um, but also, the the size of the house. It's a nice four-bedroom house. There's a nice swimming pool on site, a tennis court. It's, it's a nice, a nice area. Um, but I have had to repaint the rooms. Because this one, for example, it just needs some touching up and cleaning up now. Um, well, there's damaged bits and pieces like down here skirt board still missing um so there's repairs to be to be done but at the same time before everything was just painted white i mean literally it, like like in here because this is the storage space so not really fussed on spending too much time decorating it but like on the ceiling you know those little neon glow in the dark stars they're still there. They've just painted over the top of it and they painted through the whole house in white. Now I know they, they've just thought, well, it's nice, clean, fresh. That's fine. Um, but I'm, I'm just saying I've had to do a lot of plastering because there is no window fitters all around on every single window. The plaster was all loose. It wasn't fitted properly. So I've had to smash that out, replaster it, smooth it in, paint it um, in every single room. But it's all looking okay now. Uh, the other thing is we want to buy this place anyway at some point. We're just going to give it a few months. See what the area is like. Um, which is quite funny me mentioning that. Two minutes ago we just had um, a shoplifter running past from the supermarket. Um, followed by one, one security guard, one policeman and somebody else from the supermarket. But it, just, it was yelling as he was running away. <laughs> so they've chased him up there. I doubt he'll get away. Um, but as long as it's a nice area, um, I can see us buying this one and living here. The other thing we've got here, uh, well, let's take a nip upstairs. Um, see, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. All the lights are like that. Um, this, this has been built. So I've got the light switch here. As you can see, the steps are already here to go up to the roof deck. So once we buy, I'm going to smash through here and put a roof deck on there as well. So we've got a roof deck for laundry and stuff like that. But one of the things I'm wary of is doing too much work to the house until we've actually bought it. Because otherwise we're increasing the value of the property. Um, and then end up paying extra. So we do the work, increase the value of the house, and then pay again. So just get it nice, cosmetic, workable. But I just wanted to make people aware that not all houses are going to be up to the same sort of standard that you'd expect in the UK. I'm not saying all UK houses are up to standard, but the specifications in the UK are quite strict. Um, but yeah, right here there's um, a lot of stuff that has taken a week to fix so far. But it's looking nice now. You know, the kids' rooms are finished. They, they spent the whole of the day up there yesterday. Um, my office is nearly finished. Like I said, I've got, got a bit of touching up to do. Bring my gear over and sort the internet. Internet's another one. Um, I've contacted seven companies for internet at the minute. Only three have got back. There's a Fiber Connect business over here. It's actually called Fiber Connect. That's what it's called. It. Um, I spoke to him and he said he's talked to the president of this development um, and he's waiting for two more blocks to actually have somebody in either of those blocks to get the internet 
so it can run the fiber in because the president in it for whatever reason says the guy can't run his fiber in here unless he does it to every single block in one go which is fine if you've got everybody in every block wanting fiber uh connections but look at there's only two blocks that we that are left to um, need it well we need them to want internet so that we can get ours Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck with a slower speed. Can get 100 megabytes on that fiber, or maybe stuck with 5 to 10 if I'm lucky on the uh, ADSL line. So those are another few, another couple of factors to take in when looking at renting. Is is the internet any good? Can you get access to it? Because we're on a main road. Don't assume that you, because you're on a main road. Um, that you're guaranteed good internet because you're not. As I was talking to Barry, Barry uh, on Monday, they said all this area was different landowners at one time. So they all have different agreements and different. So even like say here, over the road, they may like now, over the road can get fiber optic, but I can't because I'm on this other development. Something is you, you know completely bizarre, but that's how it is. So, but anyway, that's not me nattering. Thanks for watching.